Hey guys, Ash here. So I'm here with another video in this series of going through one of my college courses. If you haven't seen the first video, then definitely go check that out right now. I'll leave it up in the cards and in the description. We are doing a series of what it's like to be in a Bible college course. So I'm currently in Bible college. I'm taking the course, the book of John right now. So I wanted you guys to just get a little taste of what Bible school is like. I'm just showing you kind of what it's like doing a vlog to show you the journey of the eight week course. So yeah, right now I'm currently at the library and I'm sitting outside because it is such a beautiful day and the library has this beautiful garden in the back and um, also I cannot film a video inside the library because I don't think that would be good. It's quiet in there and so I was like I'll just come outside and film this really quick so before we get into it I want to tell you a little update so two new things with coffee and bible time first we do not have a patreon anymore no more patreon we decided to just open a membership on our main website coffeeandbibletime.com and we have a membership platform where we are going to come out with weekly devotionals and then also just have a community where a safe group a community where we can come together and talk and chat i've already loved getting to know you guys who are in there so if you want to join a community where you want to connect with other women about god's word then definitely join that membership it helps us tremendously to just support us in this ministry and then the second thing is that we are coming out with a prayer journal and a prayer binder mini course so that will be coming very soon i'm just so beyond excited if you guys want to sign up for the email list to be notified like right away when these courses come out i will put the email in the description right now uh, these courses are going to help you learn how to be consistent how to become motivated and just how to learn how to pray and draw closer to the lord in prayer so we meant to create these to help you with all your needs in prayer so those are coming soon i want to mention a comment from last week's video i love the interaction in the comments by the way it was so great but i want to highlight this comment by nolene i'm going to put it up right here and she said as soon as i finished watching this video which was last week's video i was honestly so excited to read and study the book of john i picked up my bible and started reading through john 1 1 through 18. it is so good i also read through the discussion questions and also watched the video by the bible project which also broke down the book really well for question number two of the discussion questions here is my view so in John 1.1, 1, 1, it references a phase that is used in Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning. So when the beginning actually began, the word Jesus was already there. Also in John 1.3, it says that all things were made through him. The word created all things that were, were created. In Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, God is said to have created all things. And now in the verse, Christ, which is also said to be God, is said to have created all things. I just want to thank you so much. Nolene for that beautiful comment and I think you hit it the nail right on the head that was such a great response to that question so I'm just thankful for you guys in participating in these questions and in this course with me I'm it just makes me so excited so let's just get right into today's video I want to see more interaction in the comments people because I love it I love hearing from you um, so let's see, where are we getting started today? So for this week's assignments for John, this week I want you guys to really study John 1, 19 through John 6, 15. And I want you guys to read that in your Bibles. I want you to just read it, soak it in. You can read it multiple times over. And then in the textbooks, I'm going to have you read Tenny chapters 4 through 5, and then Greco-Roman World chapters 3 through 4. I'll have all this information linked in the description so that you guys can see more of that. If you do not have the textbooks, I'll have those linked in the description. You can get those off of Amazon. Pretty much our reading is going to be on two periods in the book of John, the period of consideration and the period of controversy. So that's how Tenny actually splits up these two sections is the period of consideration and the period of controversy. And he says the first main section of the Gospel of John comprises the period of consideration, so named because it narrates certain events by means of which Jesus was presented to the public for the consideration and acceptance. 
These events of, or appearances of Jesus were selected as representative in order that his method of appeal to various classes might be plainly seen and that the reader might be influenced by at least one of them. So pretty much in the period of consideration, Jesus presents himself to the public with certain signs and miracles. And he pretty much says, this is who I am. I am the son of God. I am not just a man. I am more than that. God is my father and I have come from him. And so that's what the period of consideration is about. I want you to really study that section 119 through 454. And then the period of a controversy. So the period of controversy is about after how Jesus pretty much claims his deity that he is God. He came from God. He is God. It is about the period of controversy. It was inevitable that such claims and demands as his, as this should meet opposition, especially when they in, interfered with the prejudices and sins of his hearers. Chapters 5 and 6 show the development of this opposition in debate and controversy before it broke into deadly conflict. So the period of controversy, chapters 5, 1 through 6, 71, is really about the conflict that arised and the controversy that arised from Jesus honestly showing the world who he was. So that is what the period of controversy is about. Part of your discussion for this week is going to be about summarizing the period of consideration and then summarizing the period of controversy so that you can really start to learn how to grasp John. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is how I've been highlighting in my Bible for this book. But pretty much how I highlight in my Bible is like I like to start off just by reading the book and becoming acquainted with it and then once I start to notice themes and certain words that keep appearing I will start highlighting those in specific colors. So first of all in the book of John purple I use to reference God. So triangle is for Christ whenever Christ appears. Circle is for God the Father whenever God the Father appears. And then the square or like a rectangle shape is for the spirit. So God the Father, circle. God the Son, triangle. God the Holy Spirit is a rectangle. And the reason I do this is because they're all in purple but different shapes because God is one. That's why they're all in purple. And God is three persons. So he is three persons, one God. That is the Trinity. And so that's why I had them being different shapes so I can distinguish the different persons in the Godhead and study God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit for who they are. John is filled with so much Trinitarian language and that's why you'll see all throughout my Bible in purple. So this book is rich in theology and you're probably wondering what does theology even means? It just means the study of God, who God is. So this book is so rich in theology, specifically Christology, which Christology means Christian theology relating to the person and role of Christ. So we learn so much about who Christ is and his relationship with God the Father in this book. So, so rich in theology, so rich in who Jesus is, what he came to do, his relationship to God the Father and also to the Spirit. So then just quickly, what else have I been highlighting? Green has been characters and characterization. So when different characters within the book and the stories show up, yellow has been different locations because those can be very important when studying a book of the Bible is knowing the locations. Having a map with you will be super beneficial. Red has been the Jews, which in this book, John uses the Jews, that statement, as a saying for the Jews who were hostile against Jesus. He's not saying all Jews because even Jesus himself was a Jew and his disciples were Jews. But he's saying he's referring to the Jews as a hostile group, those who did not believe in Jesus, who were against him. Orange is the color I have used for the word belief because I keep seeing that come up as a theme. And then also this yellow orangey color I've been using as word because I keep seeing Jesus's words come up and him talking about his words and how people either reject his word and don't believe in his word or accept his word and do believe in his word. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have been doing so far in the book of John. It has been super beneficial. It has been amazing to study. I also want to show you guys 
one more resource that I found that I think will be super, super beneficial to you. You can, I've been studying this resource from the library, but you could get it quickly off of Amazon if you have the means to do that. And it is called Encountering John, um, which is through the Encountering Biblical Study series. And it's titled The Gospel in Historical, Literary, and Theological Perspectives. So Encountering John, this book will be phenomenal to add to your resources when you are studying through the book of John. I will have it linked in the description. You guys, I'm so excited to be doing this journey with you. I'll have the discussion questions in the description below. Go check out those discussion questions. Feel free to write your responses um, down below in the comments and just how you're doing with studying the book of John. What have you guys been up to? How has it been going? Things like that. So I love you so much, guys. I hope this video was beneficial and I will see you in next week's video studying through the book of John. See ya.